What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and in this video we'll be looking at another exotic I got to use while I was at Bungie Studios which are the Hunter boots called the Frosties. These are definitely one of my new favourite boots and especially after new ones coming in Rise of Iron, these have got to be up there for me personally. They're really functional for mobility and also just an overall fantastic exotic that always helps you out. So firstly let's go over its perk, while sprinting it gain tighter turn radius and faster grenade and melee regeneration. So here we can see some gameplay of me using them in Fell into Peak. You'll also notice they've got a really cool little animation and visual effect. They turn from being black boots to glowing white, which is a really cool little thing that happens when you actually move with them. But you can already see just how fast the turn radius is with them on. And for comparison, I throw in the bones of AO so it's back to normal. And pay attention to my turning radius. Imagine I'm trying to run it in the smallest circle possible, and this is how it normally is for everyone else in Destiny. But when I throw back on the Frosties, look how small the turn radius is. It's actually ridiculous. I turn fast enough that I'm too too slow to be sprinting and the game stops me from sprinting that's how fast i can turn so you basically stop dead that's how quickly you can turn around and it's a really massive change i was definitely looking forward to these but i wasn't expecting them to be as good as they actually are and especially in terms of movement they're gonna be really crucial in pvp pve i'm not really imagining they're gonna be that useful i'd definitely rather use something like the bones of ao but recently and especially with the sniper nerf I've been playing a lot more aggressively and using Blade Dancer Shotgun and using the Frosties plus the Yolder no sprint cooldown artifact. This is literally a new level of movement. It might sound weird to some people, you might not think that these do much compared to other exotics, but honestly movement is so important in Destiny, especially if you want to do something aggressive like the Blade and Shotgun. But I think these are a massive game changer. And if you play literally any other shooter game that exists and then come back to Destiny, or maybe if you're brand new to the game and you've come to it from other shooters, the first thing you'll notice is immediately just how wide the turning radius is and just how slow and unresponsive it is. Obviously I played Destiny for a couple thousand hours, so I'm completely used to it at this point, so I hardly notice it anymore. But I remember the first ever time I played Destiny and got my hands on with the game at E3 2014, I remember asking a Bungie dev about it, because I thought it felt so weird and I was wondering why is it so slow when you're sprinting to turn around, but he told me it's just a core element of Destiny and it's just one of the mechanics and how the game works, and without it players would be way too responsive and move too fast, so it's kind of like a movement thing. But when you throw on these Frosties boots, they literally remove that limit that Bungie's put on us to make sure we aren't zipping around the maps. And the sprint cooldown is exactly the same. It's a limit on movement that Bungie put on us to make sure we can't sprint and slide and jump way too quickly. So when you combine both of the Frosties and the Yolder Artifact, you're moving in a way that literally is so much more advanced than anyone else. And I guarantee you're going to see some really skilled and really aggressive players take full advantage of these boots and also that Yolder Artifact. The one problem I can see with these is that it will be really hard to use anything else. It's one of those things that is just a core fundamental kind of like upgrade to your Destiny playstyle. And if I was to use these straight for like a month and then take them off, it would feel really weird and really sluggish. And it would almost be like I can't play without them. So I'd be kind of worried about that if I was to use them non-stop. I feel like I wouldn't be able to use anything else. So that may be an issue. But it's kind of like a good problem to have. It's not necessarily a bad thing. These boots are so good that you can't play without them. But I can imagine me using these Frosties for pretty much most of my time in Destiny, especially in PvP. Now the one thing that's weird to me is that the Titan boots the Dune Marchers, which are the other new exotics, those are literally better than these Frosties in every single way. The Dune Marchers also have the tighter turn rates as well, so the same as Frosties. But in addition, the Dune Marchers give you increased sprint speed, so you physically sprint faster than everyone else. And on top of that, you have faster movement while aiming your weapons. You can strafe faster, and in gunfights that's really important. So even though the Titan is supposed to be the slower class with more armor and the Hunter is supposed to be the opposite with less armor and a lot more agility, it seems like right now the Titan is the best of mobility, especially with Titan skating as well. I really do wish I had the strafing and the sprint speed that the Dune Marchers had, but either way I can make do with the tight turn rates and faster grenades. I think these are still an incredible set of boots, definitely one of my favorites and I might just throw these on and pretty much never take them off. I can imagine them being very useful in the raid where movement is quite important and of course it's going to be useful in PvP, but those are my thoughts on the Frosties at Boots and let me know what you think about them in the comment section. Of course I've got a ton more Rise of Iron videos already uploaded and on the way so stay tuned right here on the channel for more videos. Make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.